Coach Finger, UTRGV men's basketball season starts tomorrow. Ring that bell! Woo! Yes, UTRGV basketball preview special starts now. It's still ringing. Coach, look at this. I'm electric. An electric Lexus SUV. This is exciting. How far can this thing go? Uh, 204 miles in the city. That's pretty impressive. How about we go 204 feet and go record a coach's show? Let's go do it. It's the UTR and Coaches Show from North Park Lexus, Rio Grande Valley. I'm Jonah Goldberg. This is Matt Figger. He's the head coach of the UTR and men's basketball team. Thanks for joining us. Jonah, it feels like uh, I was just here uh, not too long ago uh, doing my first show with the, with the first season. And now here we are getting ready to start season number three. How excited are you? Wow, you just knocked me away. Season three? Uh, no, uh, uh, extremely <laughs> Uh, I, I think we're in a really good place. Uh, I like my team. You know, this was the first year that we actually had returners. So uh, um, we've got kids that's been in the program now for more than one year. So, you know, you, you want to see the growth from those guys. And then obviously you hope that, um, you know, you continue to, to upgrade your recruiting and, and, and keep taking steps forward um, in, in a very difficult league. And, uh, um, I don't think people realize how good this league is, um, but uh, you know, you, you've, we've, you've got to recruit elite level athletes to compete and uh, we feel like we're making steps in that direction. Well, to tell people just how good the WAC is, it was ranked, what was it 11th or 12th yes. among all conferences? So mm -hmm. you're on the verge of being a high major conference. If well, I would say it is a high major conference yeah. because if you take one through, if there's 30, 32 conferences, you take one through 11, you know, it's high major. You take. Yeah. 12 through 21 or whatever, mid-major, and 22 through 32 is low major. So I would say this is a high major conference. And that's fair. With six teams in the postseason last year, one of which made the Final Four of the NIT in Utah Valley, I mean, that's a really impressive Championship resume. in CBI. Yep. There are six teams that I can count in this, in this league, seven if you count uh, CBU, that in the last five years has won 20 or more games. <laughs> Goodness. Um, and and there's I think six that's won 20 or more three out of five years. That's impressive. Those are things that 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 uh, whenever I guess my time's done, uh, I guess I'll just beat the drum of the whack because uh, um, I don't think they I don't think the people who put the whack together realized what they were putting together when they did it by adding uh, SFA and, and and Abilene and 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 those. Uh, uh, UT Arlington's and stuff like that. I don't, I, I, Southern Utah. I don't, I don't know if they realized what they were stumbling across, but it's a, a uh, I'll advocate this and, and beat the drum. It's, it's a, a great basketball conference. Um, you know, I, I, w I would think if you're talking about basketball only that competes in FBS, um, you know, it's right there with the, with the uh, Atlantic 10 and the Missouri Valley as FBS competitive leagues mm -hmm. um, so you know I, I, I'm not putting in football I, I just talking about basketball leagues sure. you know where, where every team is and you know they, we, no team has an F, FBS football so us in Missouri Valley and the uh, A-10 I think are all very similar leagues and there is great basketball in all three leagues but I, I think because we're west of the Mississippi we don't get the recognition that we deserve well See if this one thing can help is the WAC Conference USA Challenge, and you know there's an uneven number of teams between the two conferences, so I know you don't get to participate this year. Uh, but I think that that's something that I think the WAC's going to turn a lot of heads when they win that challenge this year. Well, I I, I think so. I mean, uh, um, you know, 
we, we, we do hypotheticals all the time and, 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 uh, um, and I, ask, I ask people, it's like, okay, you take this team from Conference USA, if you play at, at Grand Canyon, how do you think they would do? You know, I, I think our league's really good. I mean, a lot of, a lot of really good coaches. Uh, we're going to a 20 game schedule round robin. We're one of maybe one of maybe the only school. I can't. I don't know this for a fact, and, and I'm I'm throwing these just things across the wall. But I don't know if any other league is playing around robin. Uh, I, I don't know that um, um, because we have a, we have 11 teams, so we have a balanced schedule. So everybody plays everybody twice, and it's and it's truly one of the only leagues that can say we you have a true champion, not not this this by scheduling. But everybody's beating everybody. Big 12 was like that, but they've now went and added teams. So um, we, we may be the standalone conference that, that plays a true round robin. I feel like that used to be more common, and then conferences started getting bloated, and it became impossible to accomplish. And when conference play starts, it's kind of a little quirk on the schedule this year. It starts early and then takes a break. So November 29th, Grand Canyon, the defending WAC tournament champions, come to town and. You know, that's a team that you beat at their place last year, and you get to open WAC play against them at home. What do you think of that? Well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, if you want to want to beat the man, you got to be the man. I, you know, it's it's uh, uh, um, they're picked to win the league. Um, they won our they won our conference tournament. So uh, we, but we have confidence that because we won at their place last year. Um, you know, it's a it's a uh, it's a tremendous challenge out of the gate for us. It's at home, so I expect there to be a, a, a you know there's no, I expect there not to be an empty empty seat in the building. Um, it's a, it's an incredible opportunity for us this early in the year. So by the time you get there, I think you've played six or seven games already. You've played a, we, a couple we, at home. Yeah, we we will. Um, what we will play, uh, uh, we'll, we'll have a daunting schedule going into that game already. We've been, we'll be tested. Uh, we play a neutral site game at South Dakota. Um, where we are, uh, um, we're at Oklahoma, at TCU. We have Hawaii and, and um, either, um, I think it's uh, uh, San Diego or Arkansas State. Right. Uh, so we'll be challenged and tested by, by Grand Canyon. So. Um, it, it's a, it's a, our, our schedule's really good. You scheduled that way on purpose to make sure you were really ready for that game. Uh, I don't know if I, on purpose is the word, but I, you know, we, you you can't lay you can't lay uh, um, games that early on the table. I mean, uh, you know, when 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 teams are trying to um, when you're trying to prepare for uh, you know conference, a lot of times you play after Christmas, so teams tend to get better. Well, now we've got two two games and, and, and we got Grand Canyon defending champs and then we we're on the road at, at Tarleton State which lost two games all year last year uh, in their building and one of them was to us so um, you know it, 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 if you can get get that those first two settled in you know who knows. So a cool opportunity right at the start of WAC play and you know we talked a little about the, the non-conference it, you know, that tournament you said, uh, Hawaii, Arkansas State, San Diego, that's out in Palm Springs, California. That seems like a pretty nice place to spend Thanksgiving. Great place. I mean, uh, um, I want to thank uh, our administration for, for allowing that to happen. Um, we're, we're, we'll be out in Palm Springs for, for Thanksgiving. Um, great place to be. Uh, um, and uh, Chris Spencer, who is uh, uh, his company that puts on the event, it's going to be a major Thanksgiving weekend. He also was a UTPA alum, um, played basketball down here. That's incredible to have that kind of connection, uh, that you have a men's basketball player from the 1980s being able to uh, kind of run the tournament that you're in. And then you, know, you mentioned the South Dakota. Now that's at the Sanford Pentagon. That's a historic arena. They've held a lot of huge games. Well, they, they had Gonzaga Baylor, didn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, what an incredible place to get to play. Yeah, no, we're playing, we're playing with some headlines. Uh, um, you know the 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 Pentagon is one place I've always wanted to go and play. Uh, the one in Palm Springs, we're also there with uh, I think Arizona, Michigan State. So um, we uh, we are with some with some in some good basketball venues. Now the home opener is actually tomorrow, November sixth, Monday, six thirty p.m. at the UTRGV Fieldhouse. UTRGV plays host to Southwestern Adventist. 
What's that feeling like when the lights turn on for the first time? Yeah, well, you know, um, I, I, I have different feelings every time, different games. You know, um, it's exciting. Uh, also know it's a grind and you can't look, you can't look too far uh, in the future. Um, you, can't, you just got to live in the moment. It's, um, it's one of those things, every year I have a different feeling. You know, uh, there's nervousness, there's, there's anxious. I guess if you don't have those feelings, you shouldn't do the business. I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I think you should probably always have that, that, that pit in your stomach and being sick and feeling like it. Um, but, but it's, you know, it's go time. It's go time. And uh, I, I, I've been very privileged. Um, this is my 31st season involved in college basketball. And uh, um, time has went fast. Uh, there's a lot of great memories, uh, but but I'm very fortunate that I've never been fired in the business. So um, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> well, and I guess the lights have already been turned on. UTRGV Madness just had that a uh, little over a week ago on toward the end of October. Uh, what was that experience like for you and your team? Yeah, you know, a uh, uh, great crowd, uh, great event. Uh, um, our our athletic department, um, they do a, they do a great job uh, um, with, with 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 you know just getting one of these events off. It's actually one of the funnest events I've ever been to, um, and I've been to a lot of good places. But that that right there, um, that event is is done tremendously by our athletic department. Uh, it, it involves the students. It has great interaction. Um, they're 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 into it. They're hyped. Um, you know. So and our, and it's something our, our players really enjoy. The, the thing that I we've got to build on is that's got to be an every time game. That that atmosphere. Um, we need to pull that off every 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 game. Every game that needs to be the atmosphere in the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Not just one time a year. Every game. Well. Three sellouts last year, and if you want to be a part of the party tomorrow, go utrgv.com slash tickets to get your tickets for the men's basketball season and home opener. It's tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. at the UTRGV Fieldhouse, and we will definitely see you there. Now, you've got yourself, you mentioned you've got a bunch of returners this year. What can you tell us about your team? Well, I, I, I think uh, uh, we're further ahead defensively right now than we are offensively. Not a bad thing. Um, you know, we are, are, we'll have to score more by committee this year, I think. I, I, I don't think we'll be um, yet. I don't, I don't know who that go-to guy is or anything like that. I know, we, I know my guys have really competed very hard in practice. Um, and I think defensively, um, we're good enough to, to be uh, very competitive. Um, you know, I, I don't like to sit and make predictions or anything, but I think, I think defensively we're, we're good enough to keep us where we need to be every night in and night out. And you're changing your defense this year, right? Yeah, no, no. Uh, um, we, we, we've, we've tinkered with some movement, some things around. Um, you know, Joan, I, I, I've been associated with, with I, had, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to do something that fits our personnel, my personality a little more. Um, so, you know, we're, we're, we're we're, we're back more in the passing lanes, pressure the basketball, picking up full court. You know, um, I, I think it'll I think it'll be it'll be a fun style to watch because um, we play so fast offensively. We want to make the game as fast as possible. Well, that's going to be exciting to watch. I mean, you already I mean, you're already a fast team, right? You're already great in transition, and I mean, everybody loves to see presses and steals and all that. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see. And uh, you know, you. Returners, Dalen Williams, um, Aaron Freeman, Sherman Bashir, a couple guys who got a lot of playing time last year. Uh, what have you seen from them so far as they get ready for the season? Well, I, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, uh, they've had to embrace the change. Um, you know, practice has been different for them. Um, it's, it's, you know, they're, they're, they've, been, they've been very enthusiastic. There's been growth. C.J. Jackson's been another kid that's really, that I think has got shown growth. Uh, Alex Arouk is, is showing growth. I, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, with what the returners. Aaron has been slowed by, by some injuries. Uh, we lost John uh, for the season. Um, but, but, you know, Dalen's gotten 
has grown, CJ's grown, uh, Sherman's, you know, they're all, they're all fitting and, and understanding what their role is, um, which is a good thing because they've been in the program now for, for two years. So um, it's, it, it, in order to build a, a, a program, you've got to have some stability where people know what, what's going on every year. You know, and, and that, that sometimes everybody wants instant, you know, this world is an instant, instant, give me instant things. Sometimes that's just not how it works in basketball. Uh, unfortunately, if you want to sustain, if, if, if I just wanted to do a gimmick and, and, and not build something, then, you know, we could, I, I wouldn't be trying to play like I am right now. Uh, I'm trying to build sustainability for, for a long time. Not the short run, but, but for a long, long run. Uh, because I think this is a place that you can do that and people will embrace it and, you know, um, this league is, it, it, you know, set up that way that you gotta, you need, you need something that 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 is different than everybody else, and that's what we're trying to do. But then the newcomers that you bring in, I mean, you brought in some really impressive folks. The Anthony Tipler, who has significant, strong Division One experience, the JUCO Player of the Year, and Elijah Elliott, a six-eight guard, a, another seven-footer. I mean, my goodness, it, it looks very impressive. Yeah, you know. Um, um, the, 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 the older guys that come in with some Juco experience, they should give us uh, uh, De'Anthony Tipler. That's got, you know, uh, uh, experience. But I'll tell you this, the kid, uh, uh, Jamar Howard, J.J. Howard, um, who's a freshman, um, he's got a chance to, 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 to make impact early. And, um, you know, uh, uh, as a, you, you, wanna, you want someone to stay in your program. And uh, you know that's what I'm hoping that that uh, JJ and David is able to do. There are two freshmen, is you know help help build the program. You can get everything you need from 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 staying in one one place. Help build the program. That's what we're trying to you know get to get it moving. Where foundation, be it on concrete, not on sand. You know, get your foundation strong, um, and and that's what we're trying to do. Well, I know I'm excited for the season. It starts tomorrow, Monday, 6.30 p.m., UTRGV Fieldhouse. Get your tickets now. Go utrgv.com slash tickets. He's Matt Figure. He's the head coach of the UTRGV men's basketball team. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, gentlemen. The UTRGV basketball preview special rolls on after this on KRGV Channel 5. I first realized that I didn't have a voice when I was in the hospital. I woke up after open heart surgery and three months went by and the voice didn't improve. And so we realized that the vocal cord was paralyzed. It was a very difficult time for me because I'm a very vocal person and I thought, that's it, there's no hope. But when I found out that Dr. Jamal did this type of surgery and was going to be able to help me, I knew I was gonna get my life back. I love being a surgeon. When you have the opportunity to combine an educational institution with a health institution, you get the best of both worlds. By involving those faculty who are the teaching physicians and surgeons, you're also having the highest quality, the most cutting edge care that you can possibly get. Once I started feeling like I was talking, I was elated. Getting my voice back, I've learned that you shouldn't leave anything unsaid. So say what you need to say. Tell them you love them. In a growing community, we are two news teams working for you. You'll get the same quality journalism. Whether you choose Channel 5 News or Noticias RGV. We combine bilingual anchors and reporters to inform you in both English and Espanol. With the largest weather team, we work to protect you and your family during severe weather. When you need to understand what's happening in the RGV, turn to the team that understands you. Two channels, two languages, your choice. Channel 5 News and Noticias RGV. If you've been injured in a serious accident or arrested on serious charges, you need an attorney that will fight for you in court. Trust attorney Carlos A. Garcia because serious cases require a serious lawyer. Call us at 956-584-1448, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh's newest destination spot and a host hotel of UTRGV Athletics with the amenities that a frequent long-stay traveler or visiting team in town to take on the V-Nation looks for. The nightlife is amplified with Ignite Lounge, a great way to wrap up a long work day or celebrate a big win. 
Town Play Suites by Marriott on Trenton in between Business 281 and Sugar Road and minutes away from the excitement of UTRGV. Town Play Suites by Marriott, Edinburgh. When you picture yourself at a Dallas Cowboys game, you never picture yourself planning it. And why should you? That's what we're here for. RGV Tours takes all of the stress and hassle out of doing the things you love. Book your game tour with us and enjoy the NFL experience, an epic tailgate party, and more. We secure your tickets and get you there and back in a private charter bus while you focus on the real action. Visit rgvtours.com to book your Cowboys game tour today. And above all, relax. We know the road. I'm currently sitting in an electric Lexus SUV for the UTRGV Basketball Preview Special. Well, we've got a couple of UTRGV Basketball alumni named Matt Palmquist and Gonzalo Garza who have their own podcast. It's called the Saddle Up Podcast. And this past Friday, they had UTRGV Women's Basketball head coach Lane Lord join them on their podcast. So we're gonna show you a segment of the Saddle Up Podcast to whet your appetite, and then hopefully you'll give them a follow Saddle Up Podcast, hosted by UTRG men's basketball alumni Matt Palmquist and Gonzalo Garza. Let's turn it over to the Coach Lord episode right now. So Coach Lord, you know, you're, you're heading into uh, a promising season. You know, you're really excited about it. You got 10 returners back. I think four, four starters, starters, right? Four starters. Wow. wow. Coach, man, that fifth guy, you might want to, you know, suit up <laughs> this guy me, if you need a postman. If you can, and, if you can give me a new social security <laughs> number and a, you but, know, uh, and a wig, maybe, I don't know. But, talk uh, to us a little bit about the, the season, you know, how you're looking forward to it and, well, and all that good stuff. We had two years of COVID where we couldn't recruit. They wouldn't let us bring anybody on campus. So, yeah. you know, when you got to pass 23 other Division One schools before you get here, it was tough on us, and we struggled yeah. for a couple of years. I mean, we were still competitive, but we, you know, we didn't get to the top like we were yeah. uh, the first couple of years. So uh, now we feel like l last year we had uh, ten new players. Mm -hmm. All ten are back, and uh, six of those were JUCO. It all goes back to yeah, JUCO. Yeah, it all goes go, back baby. to JUCO. And uh, yeah, four good. of those are starters, so they got their feet wet in the whack last year. Mm -hmm. It's a tough league now. It's uh, you fly everywhere, and the travel's brutal. brutal but it's yeah. also awesome. You get to go to Seattle, California. Yeah. You know, we go to California, go to the Lakers game. I mean, it's, oh, it's well, awesome. I'm, you know, I live in San Diego, so give um, this guy a shout. Give you know? me a shout out when you when you, <laughs> you know, absolutely yeah. when you go play. Uh, what is it? Uh, Cal Baptist. Cal Baptist CBU. Yeah. 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 Well, um, you, why don't you go to the Lakers game with us? They're playing the Bulls. We're going to yeah, we'll Bulls go. Laker game this yeah, year. Yeah, definitely go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, he, you, he's not gonna hey, say no to that. You heard it here first. It's on. It's on. Can tape. we do this? Can we offer a buffalo chicken sandwich for a yeah, Lakers ticket? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll we'll just From trade Wing straight Barn. up. From Wing Barn. Wing yeah. Barn is the official sponsor. So yeah. yeah. Hey, take a take a uh, chicken sandwich. <laughs> nice. I love me some Wing Barn. <laughs> yes, sir. Right yes, by sir. my house. Yes, sir. So something you said right now that really that really caught me was you brought in ten last year, and all ten are returning. How? How amazing is that, given the landscape of college basketball yeah. with the portal, where kids are now like, oh, well, I didn't like it, or he didn't play me enough, yeah. or whatever, and or they just, at me wrong. And yeah. They, yeah, yeah, he looked at me mm -hmm. wrong, or whatever, yeah. like, whatever the case is, they get in their feelings, and then they hop in the portal. Like, that, that's a testament to your, your style, that recipe, and being able to bring back 10 of your recruits from a year ago and they're all coming back. So it's well, love, man. That is love. It goes yeah. back to love, baby. <laughs> no, we got a great staff, and uh, but we have a, a, a really a great group of kids too that that really got along, and um, we graduated a couple players, and uh, but the core of our team is all back. And you know, if you really look around UTRGV today when you're walking around, um, things have changed. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, number one, it's really attitude, just the whole university. It's, you know, we spent a lot of time uh, building all these new facilities and uh, getting the medical school going. Uh, you know what's really going right now? Athletics. Oh, and yeah, the money's sure. The money's coming in. Facilities are getting better. We got top quality coaches in our, in our department now. We got a great leader in Chase and Molly. And, uh, and that's why I took this job six years ago is because of the vision of this place. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're finally starting to see. It's coming to fruition. It's yeah. coming to fruition. And uh, there's no reason, none, while men and women's basketball can't get to the NCAA tournament in the next two or three years because we are growing, growing, growing. And uh, I'm so excited to be a part of it, and I can't wait to see what this university does. I believe does. that as well. Wow. Well, that, I believe with, that as well. Yeah, with, with, you know, with the players, with, with great coaches, and everything you have around you, Coach, man, I know you're going to be successful. We're fired yeah. up. We're, yeah. We're, uh, we love the Vaqueros, and 
this community, just drive around the community. There's 60 new uh, housing developments going up in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. yeah. This place is on steroids, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, absolutely. And the culture, the people here are just unbelievable. Uh, love them to death. And um, so I'm just fortunate to be here yeah. um, to take those steps to get to this place. I couldn't, I wouldn't want, I grew up in uh, Waco. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather be here than Baylor. I mean, this yeah. place is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, my sentiments exactly. This is a walk on athlete. They train long, put their heart into the game. This is the passion we're built on. It's why we put our heart into creating game day with a taste of Louisiana. Walk on. We live for this. In the minute it takes to knock back your dream. Spot your new crush. Or cheer on the home team. You could do something that really makes a difference. Sign up as an organ donor. In less than a typical timeout, you could sign up to save eight lives. It sure beats using a minute to mustard that hot dog. Sign up at TOSA1.org. If you've been injured in a serious accident or arrested on serious charges, you need an attorney that will fight for you in court. Trust attorney Carlos A. Garcia because serious cases require a serious lawyer. Call us at 956-584-1448, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Bobby, ClearStop has new lower pricing for you and new members. Existing members should also get new pricing. Existing members do get new pricing. All members get new pricing. That's right, all members. What about non-members? Non-members also get new pricing. Everyone gets new pricing. Everyone gets new pricing. Everyone. 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 We're good. My work is done here. It's time to go practice and play. At Raising Canes, we focus on being the best at one thing and getting it right every time. Which is why every chicken finger meal we serve is marinated, hand battered, cooked to order and made just for you. Quality isn't complicated, and our menu is proof. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> now hiring awesome crew. Apply at work at canes.com. Thanks for tuning in for this edition of the UTRGV Basketball Preview Special. To catch archived episodes, visit goutrgv.com slash coaches show. Big thanks to UTRGV men's basketball head coach Matt Figger for joining us at North Park Lexus Rio Grande Valley. And to UTRGV women's basketball head coach Lane Lord, Matt Palmquist, and Gonzalo Garza, who are UTRGV men's basketball alumni, for letting us use part of this week's Saddle Up podcast. Make sure you give them a follow. We'll be back with the UTRGV basketball mid-season special in January. But for now, this is Jonah Goldberg saying so long. From North Park, Lexus, Rio Grande Valley. This has been the UTRGV Basketball Preview Special. Get your visa. <laughs> <laughs>